Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. And boy, what a momentous occasion this is. I have the honor, pleasure, and privilege to bring you guys the official data mine for the one year anniversary. So that being said, I'm just going to get into it. There is a lot of stuff to look at here. Uh, unfortunately, you guys are going to have to bear with me. The loading on some of these videos is a little bit slow. But I'm just going to start going through these one at a time. Hopefully I can get this video done and out before the actual time that it drops. But um, I'm going to skip this right here just because there's so much to cover. But this is the new icon for ultimate weapons right here. So that does look pretty damn cool. And then we have a bunch of couple little videos right here. I'm just going to pick these up one at a time just to show you guys. So there is a new draw. It is going to be Cloud's Bahamut garb. It looks absolutely awesome right there. And then it also looks like it's sh uh, showcasing Sephiroth's new ultimate weapon as well. Um, not going to lie, the animation there, <laughs> if this is Sephiroth's ultimate weapon, the weapon looks sick. But the animation, I feel like, for an ultimate weapon could be sicker. It's 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 not that cool, but but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not the ultimate weapon, but we'll just have to see. I'm going to click into this one right here and let's take a look. All right, so let's pause this here for a second. So it does look like this might be it right here. Cloud exclusive limit break weapon. Um, I'm going to pause that. Cloud exclusive limit break weapon and Sephiroth exclusive ultimate weapon are now available. So yeah, that's it. That's the Genji blade. A little bit disappointed on that animation. Not going to lie. Ultimate weapons should have at least multiple slashes. All right. This new cloud exclusive weapon grants haste to the caster to the first the first time it's used. Okay, so it's basically an ATB boost. And deals damage. Well, I guess you get haste for a little bit. And deals damage to all enemies. In addition, the first ever ultimate weapon featuring all powerful abilities is now available. All right. Wow, it does look like the appearance rate for the Bahamut Greatsword is times 1.5. That's actually super sick. All right. In comparison with the appearance rate of a single featured weapon in a limit break draws held before September 5th. So it doesn't look like this has a higher appearance rate. But it does look like the Bahamut Greatsword does. All right, so that is pretty sick. Not going to lie, that's cool. All right, so it does look like this is going to be Zack's uh, free weapon right here, the Alba Blade. So let's just play that one more time for you guys. A little bit of an AoE. Looks pretty cool. Um, the next one is a Kate Sith uh, video right here. Yeah, sorry, guys. It's, it's a little laggy. I don't know what it is. The data mines are sometimes like this. All right, but... Honestly, that Kate Sith weapon doesn't look that cool. Let's go on to this one right here, which I think is a preview of the White Bahamut, uh, which is looking pretty sick. So there it is right there. Looks pretty freaking badass, right? Am I, it, it looks cool, not going to lie. All right, so all in all, super excited. This is going to be Cloud's new costume. It is cool. It's not my favorite, though, but it is cool. I'm not going to lie. I like the whole kind of vibe on it. Um... I would have went with like a more prominent black armor um, than like the skin tight kind of thing going on here, but it is pretty sick. So we got some other uh, illustrations right here. It looks like these are going to be our wallpapers. So thank God they kept those. That's going to be white Bahamut versus regular Bahamut. Then we have the whole crew right here. Guys, this looks so sick. It looks like we have Yuffie right here, Cloud, and Aerith and Tifa look absolutely amazing, guys. I'm going to pop this up full screen, show you guys. I mean, they look incredible. Let's let, I mean, every single one of them looks better than Cloud. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It looks like these, uh, these costumes were kind of made for the girls, and then they just kind of like tailor fit Cloud <laughs> into one of them. But that's all right. He's put on dresses before. He, he'll survive. But, uh, yeah, it does look like uh, we got some wallpapers. It looks like we got some new chocobos here. That one looks pretty cool. I like that one. And then I know that I saw somewhere that ocean chocobos is going to be a thing. Now I'm just going to go through these one at a time. High difficulty quests added. Conquer the even more difficult event quests. We have daily quests added from B11, floor B11 to B30. All right, you get a title. Uh, here is the tower with the absolute longest, most extra name in all of history. Battle Tower, Singularity, the Maelstrom, Chaos of the Corrupted. All right, I bet that's going to be pretty dang fun. Uh, does look like the new campaign is going to get you one gear of your choice and 26 five-star weapons. Uh, plus get weapon enhancement materials, total of 7,500 blue crystals. 
Um, useful item gifts, gift login bonuses, five-star weapon free draw, panel missions. Panel missions, those are nice. Weapon enhancement login quest, daily free draw, special training campaign. There's just tons of stuff coming, guys. Raise up to 40 weapons... 40 weapons levels to level 80 by logging during the period or clearing missions uh plus up to a free draw times 300 just lots of good looking stuff here there's a new icon there for the ultimate weapons log in to get up to astro win times 10 and lottery box first anniversary times four every week all right i'm down for that now here's the good stuff guys getting into the new weapons all right now there's a lot of stuff so i'm not going to dwell on a lot of this but bahamut greatsword 4 atb cost fierce claw inflicts up to 800 percent non-elemental physical damage upon all enemies plus grants haste to the caster the first time it is used and afflicts up to 40,000 additional non-elemental physical potential potency damage when the caster's hp is 50 percent or more that is super interesting i know i've seen players that hit for a million and when you tack on 40,000, it doesn't seem like a lot but inflicts up to 40,000 additional non-elemental physical potency damage now does this can this be boosted is the question all right our abilities boost physical attack to all allies all right that's pretty sweet sword is looking awesome and boost physical ability potency boost physical ability damage when cat tax stances command gauge is at max all right so pretty damn solid i would say let's keep on let's jump over bahamut garb we already had a little preview of this boost attack all allies new boost boost boosts both physical and magic attack of all allies, and Bahamut's Bite, which is also new, boosts physical attack, also boosts physical ability damage when attack stance command gauge is at max. All right, so definitely going to be a very strong non-elemental set. Here is the Genji Blade. Holy smokes. Flash of Steel inflicts 2,000% non-elemental physical and magic damage upon a single enemy, plus colossally increases the caster's physical and magic attack. Wow. That is insane, but it can only be used twice. All right, the R abilities boost ability potency. All right, and interruption mastery, which is new, boosts ability damage when targets are interrupted. Interesting. So I'm guessing when you use limit breaks or summons, how we do our cancellations, that might be it. Boost ability damage. That's that's pretty interesting. All right, get Mako Gem Genji Blade as a bonus every time you perform a ten draw. Collect Mako Gems, Genji Blade to exchange them for Genji Blade, Greater Branding Stones, and more. All right. Uh, it does look like there are reward bonuses for the event going on right now. All right. So that will be, I'm guessing, a ton of people will be pulling. One or more five-star or higher weapons guaranteed. New weapon, Bahamut Greatsword, is featured. The new ultimate weapon, Genji Blade, is also featured. Wow, there is just, they are just freaking, you can tell they've been building up. On Sundays, the 5-star appearance rate is 1.5 times higher. Daily free 10 drop to 300 draws. Gosh, this is just so much stuff. On Wednesdays, the 5-star rate is uh, doubled. Here is the official banner. It looks awesome. I mean, up close, Cloud looks cooler right here. I like his little Naruto, uh, his little Naruto cat things going on. All right, so we already looked at the Bahamut Greatsword. Super, 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 super cool. All right, let's go in here and see what we got here. So... Let's see. Ultimate Braver right here. Charge time, 30 seconds. It does look like you can equip it down here below. That's actually pretty sick. I feel like it looks like they're making room to add things over here because I would probably would have put this icon up next to the limit break and then kept it capped on the bottom right there just aesthetically because uh, now there's just a bunch of open space. But I'm. it does look like accessories could be coming soon. There's the ultimate buster sword right there. You can level it up. You can enhance it. It is a six-star weapon, so it doesn't look like there's OB levels to it. All right, there's Sephiroth's right there. Flash of Steel. Holy smokes, these look really cool. It's interesting to see something so different coming into the game. All right, you'll see that they have their extra limit break right there. Flash of Steel. Now, I guess that you would have two of them on the opposite characters right there if they had ultimate weapons as well available it's charging right there and then the use is left zero all right so that's pretty cool uh it looks like the buster sword this is branding and you can basically raise all your stats right here uh, and then we're jumping back to the beginning right there now let's jump over to here does look like there are ultimate weapons for every single character that will be available all right with sephiroth's being the first banner one i'm guessing the genji blade i mean it's the freaking genji blade 
it's going to be the best one out right now, I would guess. It does look really cool. I am a little bit bummed on that animation. I feel like they they should have, like, went big on that, right? Um, like, some kind of, like, stance draw, you know, it would have been super sick. Uh, there is a new icon, I'm guessing, for stuff, fights coming out. First anniversary, unlock old panels to obtain limited wallpaper. So they did bring back wallpapers. That's good. First anniversary, unlock old panels to obtain blue crystals times 3,000. And first anniversary, unlock old panels to obtain mithril ore times 60. All right. I think mithril ore is the kind of more, you know, easier to get these days. But uh, it is what it is. And that looks like that's going to basically conclude it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick run. But when all of this drops into the game here in like the next 45 minutes... You guys, rest assured, I'm going to be going through everything. I'm going to have a bunch of videos coming out in the next few days and all throughout the process of this one-year anniversary. That being said, those of you guys that are going straight into pulling as soon as, as soon as it drops, I wish you guys the best of luck out there. I'm super amped, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are. It is an exciting time for Ever Crisis. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis content. I will catch you guys on the next one very soon. Anyways, hope you all have a great night. Peace.